What's going on, everybody? We're going to be jumping into the NFC North top players, and we're going to kick it right off. Eddie Jackson, he has never really been a fan favorite um, as far as like for the Mutt community themselves. Early in the year, though, for some reason, his card is always one of the better ones, but he lacks the speed. So what we usually do is get a cornerback and make a corner play safety instead of having the guys with the higher overalls that are slower play. Because what's the biggest thing to stop at launch? The players are going to come out and just throw streaks, like myself. Eddie Jackson might not make the squad, but he is a higher zone player with the 85 threshold, so we'll see what happens. Khalil Mac Daddy Mac, bro, 87 overall coming in with a whopping 79 speed, 81 excel, but check out the numbers that make him glitchy. 87 power move, 86 block shed. It's above the 85, guys. Watch that threshold. 86 tackle, 87 play rack. It's going to be very, very important to see how it works. Now, he's going to be one of the more expensive cards. Are there going to be other cards that have similar attributes, but just not right there? Yes, that will be the case. We just have to find it, okay? We are not looking as far as, you know, oh my God, he has a crazy attribute right there. We're going to spend all the coin. We're looking to see what attributes are really going to make sense on the field. If you're worried about your overall being extremely high as opposed to getting wins early on, you're doing it wrong. We have to mix match the players that make sense at launch. And if one player is just more expensive because he's a known name like Khalil Mack, we have to step away from that. And we have to go someplace else because it won't be worth it for us. Coming in with Allen Robinson, again, 82 speed wide receiver, not my cup of tea. You Bear fans, you probably love it. Most of you Bear fans that watch the videos like, oh my God, bro, I love this. Like, bro, no, I don't like it. All right, the dude is not gonna make my roster by any means at all, because guess what? He's not a guy that I'm even gonna think about mossing anybody with. You know what I'm saying, bro? 86 jump is pretty decent though, above the threshold, but does jump really you know, emphasize itself on the field? We have yet to see that. Jamie Collins, it's gonna be weird seeing him as a lion, but guess what? You got Coach Pencil, sort of a protege of Bill Belichick, same thing. You know, he's been a consistent player, whatever, but guess what, dog? I don't really care about all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm looking at him in the Patriots uniform. That's how I'll remember him. But again, it's like they just Mitch and match, Mitch match, whatever. And uh, Coach Pencil will take care of it over there with Detroit. I don't expect nothing from Detroit. I'm sorry, Lion fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I don't know what to think about you guys. You guys had arguably one of the greatest wide receivers ever and didn't do anything with him. Calvin Johnson, bro, just keep doing whatever you're doing, man. Kenny Galladay, the dude has high, high potential, but I don't know what's going to happen with the guy. Like, I want to I wanna say at 6'4", we could probably put him on the field and moss a dude's brains out with him. But is that something that we really want to do at launch, though? It might be a thing. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry about it. I know 82 overall is like, yo, Jemaya, that's a real low overall. But he might be glitchy. You know what I'm saying? That 84 catch in traffic chemmed up a little bit with a little bit of go deep action. You don't know what's going to happen. It's very, very interesting the way that all of these lower overall attributes, they start to reflect themselves differently in game at launch as opposed to after the game is tuned. Remember, what you get when you first get the game, that is what these developers intended. Afterwards, with feedback and things like that, when things start to change, I don't know what happens after that. But I've enjoyed every Madden at launch. I would Even 16 at launch, I really enjoyed. It's the patches that just made it go crazy. We'll see how this guy works out. I'm not writing him off yet. All right, Matt Prater, everybody knows this guy. You know, consistent kicker, 83 kick power, 82 overall. A lot lower overall than our AFC uh, counterpart uh, that we looked at before. Um, so we may have to go ahead as far as kickers go. We may, instead of Tucker, you know, with the Ravens, we may have to go over here and look at this guy with around the same kick power, lower kick accuracy, but we got to focus on it. Because remember, we're trying to conserve our coins. We're not just spending willy-nilly out there. We're not doing it. Even, even you guys that got bands on bands on bands, don't go crazy because your overall of a kicker is not going to really reflect on anything. Go for the kick power. Devontae Adams, can we moss with him or can we not? That won't matter with this card because he's right around all the decent thresholds. All right? Short route running, medium route running. He's going to probably be, yo, you know what he's going to be like? Tory Holt. Madden 20, Tory Holt. That's what this guy's going to be like. So if you're going to want to throw routes, corners, posts, flags, he's going to be that guy for that. All right. I don't know if we're going to be running those routes yet because I have to see, again, how the game actually plays. If the game is conducive to us playing with those routes, I will go ahead and grab a Devontae Adams, bro, or somebody with that skill set that has those numbers in that threshold. 
if EA starts doing wild stuff where, you know, a guy that has like 50 route running is running the same route the same way, it won't matter as much. And then we'll be able to use those coins in other places. Maybe beef up our O-line, beef up our D-line, our middle linebacker core. We gotta be very, very smart at launch, guys. So don't look at all these high overalls as something to jump on. Now, O-lineman is gonna be different. Bakhtiari, he's gonna be pretty good. All right, like 87 overall right there at launch O-lineman. He should work and he should be a guy that's able to see if the guy that you're playing against is gonna be doing the same exact blitz because he'll have that counter and he'll be a smarter pass protector. You can see that in the top right of his card. So he might be a guy that's useful to us, all right? Not because of his overall, but because of the numbers that are there, okay? If the numbers make sense, I'm not worried about the overall. I'm looking for 85s and above as far as that threshold go. Zadarius Smith though? Really? Bro, power rusher. He got 88 power move. Low key, he might get off the block. I don't like that 73 speed though. We might have to put him at end, guys. I know he's a left outside linebacker. We might have to put him at end and see if he can get off the, you know, start screaming on the inside and then we get the guys on the outside that are faster to come in. It's like this, right? That 73 speed, we might have to go ahead and just say, you know what, Khalil Mack, if we get a Khalil Mack or somebody with that type of speed, put that guy on the outside, put these stronger power move guys at end and then put the slower D ends at D tackle. That might have to be the move. Dalvin Cook. Okay, showing the Vikings some love. 84 speed, 85 Excel. Hmm, very, very similar to like Nick Chubb and my pants numbers. Dalvin Cook is a speedster. I don't know who would be faster though. I think they're probably around, you know, on field speed. They both look really, really fast on the field. Um, looking at his numbers, 85 Excel. Uh, yeah, we could probably rock with you, dude. We could rock with you. We grabbed a Dalvin Cook at 84. He got the power of symbol on his bottom right. We could probably work with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think we could do something with this guy. Give him a little bit of sprinter action. Get him to like an 86 speed. Yeah, it might work. Eric Kendricks, do you have anything good about you? What do you got going on here? 86 play rec? If play rec matters, maybe. But other than that, you ain't making the squad. Like, it's, it's as simple as that, bro. Like, nothing about this card is appealing. Like, okay, you're 77 speed at linebacker. Yeah, congratulations, dude. Not gonna, wait a minute, 83 zone? Maybe Ken that up to an 85 and he actually plays. I don't know, bro. Would zone really work in Madden 21? We have yet to see. We got to go out there and once we get the game, figure that out. All right, let me take that back. He might make the squad in case we need coverage on the outside if we're not going to be blitzing like animals each play. And then finally, Harrison Smith with an 81 speed. That is dirt slow. I don't know if he's going to be able to play safety for me. I am scared, but that 87 speed, I mean, 87 zone coverage, that, that bro, that kind of turns me on crazy, bro. Like, Low key? It turned me on, bruh. 85 hit power? We may have to rethink this. You guys think we might have to finally start a year off with Harris and Smith? Maybe put him at sub linebacker. What do you think, guys? Sub linebacker package? We could do it like that, but I can't have him out there in the secondary. Let me know what you think about these top players. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.